Oh my god. Oh fuck my life, that guy does not play. Fuck. What's up guys, Duck Opinion here. We're doing part 6 of our Stay at AK Let's Play. And we got a lot of, a lot of things uh, done since last time. So, I went ahead and just collected all this stuff. I wanted to see how many times we could fix up the RV and do all that great stuff. So, we have the RV getting fixed, working on itself, and um, pretty soon it'll be done. So we're going to do some random stuff. And then we're going to get out of here again with the RV. And we're going to see how much stuff changes. Because at this point, I really feel like um, you just replay the motions. I do got some more videos for you guys, some tips and tricks. But I really feel at this point, you spawn in, you get a house, you collect Pacific resources and wait for the RV to show up. The RV shows up, and then you fix it and leave. I've done this. This is my third time doing this, and you do the exact same stuff. Although the zombies are harder, and the supplies are less. But it's not harder and less to the point where they actually kill you where they actually don't have cars or don't have supplies they're a little less rare but you know every other house has what you're looking for instead of every house it's kind of like that so I mean and also you beat it so quick like I only do it on like one of the towns like the RV shows up so quick and you beat it that I never have to go to another town and I could and there'll be many more supplies there many more cars there but let's go help these people out while the RV is getting built up now the one thing that I find difficult about this game, maybe I'm just missing it, but I've been looking really hard on the map. I've looked really hard to find other people to join us. Now you find other people all the time, but normally they just want your help. Normally they're just like, hey, help me clear out this horde, and then you do it. They're like, okay, we're just going to stay here at our place. We're not going to join you. And normally you go save people, and like, okay, you saved us, and they run back home. So none of them really let you follow. You get like one follower or two followers every time you start a new game, but that's basically it. <laughs> so let's run over some zombies. I don't even care about taking care of cars just because like I, there's so many already just, I'm not going to use up all the cars by the time I beat it so they want to clear out this infestation. There's not too much of an infestation here so let's clear out the um, firehouse. By the way I'm using uh, the shotgun. I'm pretty sure this shotgun is part of the DLC. It was one of the guns they showed in the DLC trailer, so that's what I'm assuming the rocket launcher and shotgun is one of the DLC guns. It's either already posted or, I, um, or I'm going to post it soon. I got some more video of the shotgun coming soon, like a Pacific video on it. We blast a whole bunch of zombies. It is a very cool weapon. Shut up, Streaker. Like, the Streaker zombies are like the, the, like the easiest. They start screaming and just bobbing the head and be like, shut up. And they have no arms, so they literally can't hurt you. All they can do is scream at you and shoot them in the head. That's what I do every time. <clears throat> so um, let's clear out the rest of this place. We took out the horde. Well, I guess besides this one. <laughs> let's just push him out the door or the window. There you go. He'll be fine. So what's in here? Big bucks, no whammy. Shoot. Bullets and some jam, some pills. <laughs> so I don't know. That's the one thing that I wish that I wish they had a list of guns and that you could somehow eventually unlock them and just get them with a good amount of ammo. Because, I mean, it is fun to bash them, you know, to bash them, but at, at some point, like I'm at, you've done collected everything. You've seen a million guns, but the thing is, guns are so random, and they're so rare. Like, yeah, you'll find some guns here and there, but it's not going to be, you won't get to choose what it is. You might find a couple pistols, maybe a rifle, maybe an AK, and then that'll be it. So I wish there was more of, like, a list, and maybe you can unlock them with your little star points or whatever. I think that'd be really cool, and you could actually go around blasting fools with weapons and not worrying about wasting ammo. It does get pretty lame, the ammo count. But you know, I don't know, I like throwing new ideas out for this game because, in my opinion, this game desperately needs the new ideas. I mean, seeing how they're posting DLC that's the same exact game about a story, it just shows they ran out of ideas. And you know, hey, Undead Labs, I'm available. I'm not, I'm not, I'm trying to help. I'm just saying, if you want to hire a brother, I got tons of ideas. So... <laughs> Let's um let's get the RV built and let's get it. It's already taken care of. It needs to clean. I got the cleaning stuff. So, is it time to leave again? It is. Now this time when I left on the RV, it was buggy. The RV didn't really spawn over by my house. <clears throat> it literally just it didn't even ask. It literally just made me leave and it started a new game. Which I mean I guess I didn't mind, but some let's we'll see what I mean. Like some point for a grand finale. So I guess it did ask, but it really wasn't like, hey, get everybody, collect supplies, but there you go. Level three, we did it. We're going to move on to level four, but 
But I don't know. It's like I said, man, it hasn't really seemed to be, it doesn't get harder. It's been about the same. And trust me, it's harder than the normal state of decay, but you get used to it. You know when you make a loud noise to leave the area. You know when you get more than three zombies to get in your car and freaking take off. You like get that, you know, specific way. So no matter how hard it gets, you know how to bail. So I think on this one we should we should get ourselves killed. At this point, it like kind of glitched me out. I wasn't able to like pick anyone out. It's literally me and the girl now. And you can't play as the girl, so I don't want to build up that much. I'd rather kind of die and see what this hero stuff's all about. So uh, let's go in this random church and hope there's a billion zombies here and kill ourselves. So I only died one other time in this DLC. And um, it was due to one of those big boss boss monsters. You know the yellow guy that runs around? He's like the big, big, he's not the brute guy, but he's like the main hunter guy. He'll kill you so quick. Like I've learned that if you see those guys, to just get in your car and leave. Or run them over. Don't try to fight them at all. They will kill you. Run. And I learned that the hard way. One of my guys died. So that's the only time I ever died in Breakdown. And so I'm going to force myself to die here. Just because, again, I want to see what happens. This is a good place to die. There's a billion zombies here inside a church with a bunch of dead bodies and it's burnt down. It's a great place to die. <laughs> I will not die. I will power through this last second and give you a couple more beatings before I go with this awesome shotgun. Oh, look at that. That's one of the zombies I'm talking about right there. That little guy. That little fucking yellow guy. If you see those guys, you're, you're screwed. Just get in your car and go. If you're not in a car, press start and uh, end the game. Because it will save your guy's life, I promise. <laughs> so here we go. Let's see what happens when you die in breakdown. It should be just game over, right? I don't. I shouldn't have like. I don't know if it'll load up another game. Let's let's find out. Let's find out. So there you go. Level four. <clears throat> it acts like I beat it. Okay, so that's it. Start a new game. So you can't load up your game after you die. Okay, so. Okay, but you can choose what level you start at. So that's a pretty cool thing. I like that. So you don't have to start all the way back at level 1. Once you beat a level, you can quit, get a new hero, and not have to worry about replaying a level. So I've only unlocked 5 levels heroes. But I will say I didn't have to go find these people. These are people that are, besides the army guy, these are people that I normally just had in my group. Screw these normal people. I've never seen this army guy. What are we doing with the army guy? I want to see what he looks like and what he starts with. But I like the hero's idea. I just don't think they're worth it. I mean, you level up somebody. I guess if they look as different as this guy, it might be. Look at this. Oh, I got a true army guy on me right now. And what does he start with? I bet that's the thing that probably gets heroes that are cool. It's a cool skin to, like, you know, start over a new character and power up. And they probably start you off with beast-ass weapons. Not sure what weapon that is, but, uh, um, what is that, a shovel and a gun? It's not too bad. I think we'll use this guy. So if this gets good views, if you guys are still watching this LP, we'll continue to play. It is a lot of rinse and repeat, but uh, I'll still show it and we'll see how high of level we can actually get with this army guy. What do you guys think? Leave it in the comments, like the video, share it on Google Plus and all that such. And uh, if you guys are into it still, we'll keep playing. I still do love bashing zombies on this game. I just wish I could do it with three of my friends on a new map. I mean, that would really get me back into this game. But... I'm back into it. I think it's pretty fun. I think you guys should check it out as well. It's still on sale on Steam. It's sale until the 4th of this month. So go check that out. And I'll uh, be posting more videos soon. Talk to you guys later. Dusk and fly. Peace.